Lots of people there. Hi everybody. I hope this camera's all right. Hiya. Yeah. I just thought for a change I'd go live. I haven't been live in ages. Hi Steve. And I'm sure I've, I've been actually trying to get on live, but I've just been so busy that every time I plan it, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> oh well, can't watch. What a shame, Claire. Hi, Stuart. Yeah, I just thought I'd come on live today just to give everybody an update of what I've been up to because it's just been crazy busy, which is brilliant because that, that's what you want, isn't it? Um, lighting or anything is not very good in here. I've just basically, I've just come in from the shed, thrown everything. Actually, I've tried to move the beer space because the place is a disaster in here. I might actually even give you a look round. It is just, there is stuff everywhere because... I only do one craft fair this year. I usually do about three, just purely because there's a lot of people that come out looking for the bandsaw boxes. But as you all know, I haven't made many bandsaw boxes this year. Um, and on that subject, the poll, by the way, on um, YouTube, thank you very much, all those that um, did the vote in the poll, because it gives me an idea of what you're wanting to see. And I noticed that... Is the sound okay, by the way? <laughs> Hi, Brian. Uh, yeah, in the poll, 40% of people wanted a bandsaw box. And that's great, thanks, Stuart. And 22% of people wanted resin art and 28% of people wanted rings. So all of those things you will get over the next few weeks. I have, I started a bandsaw box, you probably remember from the updates that I used to do weekly. I started a bandsaw box probably about in April. It's still sitting there. It hasn't actually got much to do to finish it. So over there, I'll get this craft fairs done this week and I've got some custom orders going and that's another thing. Thank you everybody, because I know there's a lot of you from the channel that come and support me with the pen blanks and rings and pens and things you know i really really appreciate that hi jim um because you know that's enabled me actually to cut my hours down so that i can get more time to spend doing what i love really because i get up in the morning to do all of this and you know your job you go to earn money for your social life that's what i see it as so, uh, yeah, so thank you, everybody, for all the support, because I see your names coming with the orders, you know, um, and, you know, I just really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, art projects. Yeah, there's actually an art project this week. Hi, Rachel, from Brisbane. That's, I've got two brothers in Brisbane. Um I was out there about four years ago and I was supposed to have been out there by now again, but but life's been busy, so a uh, beautiful place though. Um, I should be going out maybe next year or the year after and hoping maybe to get Atlanta in at the same time. Hi, Glyn. So, yeah, so it's it's been really good to do the poll. Now I sort of get an idea of what people are wanting to see because I know I do a lot of pen blanks and I don't want to overload you with those because I do those on a daily basis. I'm, I'm, I'm pen blank casting today. Um, but I know it gets a bit boring seeing me doing the same thing all the time. The rings, when I did the rings, I was totally surprised because I actually been delaying that project because I was a bit nervous about doing them. Doing the secret wood rings is a totally different thing altogether. I've got quite used to doing those and I find them quite easy to make now. They don't, they're not always perfect, but, you know, um, I get a good result from the polish and everything from that. So, um, yeah, I did those ones, but the ones with the bands, I always found trickier, but I've really got that sus now. So there will be quite a few more videos. And, um, yeah, I've got some possible information coming up about that. And um, ring bands, maybe. Um hopefully not too far in the future. So, yeah. So that's that there. But uh, what's everybody been up to anyway? I'm 
most years are probably busy working here. So the other thing I wanted to say is I uh, you probably seen the pine cone video on Facebook. Um Mental Orders Rush. I know it's great though, Brian, isn't it? That's what keeps you going. Yeah, Steve, I get the work, work, work thing too. I'm off for one day today and I'm back again tomorrow. Um, yeah, the pinecone video on Facebook. I decided to let one of these companies put it out. Emailing while listening. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Get me orders done, Stuart, for Christmas. And... Um, yeah, so I get probably 10 to 15 emails or messages a day, um, mostly from America or Australia or France or, you know, I get quite a few from the UK, but it's mostly all overseas wanting the pinecone boxes. Well, of course, you don't, I didn't ever make it for that. I only ever made it for the one project and I have made a couple of them since some people have come to me and i've made them but it's never as much fun making these boxes again that's how i find it um all right perfect stuart i'll get on and get that sorted um yeah so i it it takes excitement out of it i don't know if any of you understand that the pen blanks is different because every time i cut I open a pen blank i'm surprised at what it looks like but when you, you're just making the same project over and over again, it gets boring and then your heart's not in it. And then it's never as good as I want it to be because I know my heart's not in it. So I can't repeat those orders like that. I have decided, though, that there will be one, one going up for Christmas. Um, there was a, a lady from the UK asked me to make one. I made that for her. That will be the last custom order one of that, um, for all the reasons I've just said. But I will be making this one and it will go up. Um, it will be quite late, so if anybody wants it, it will probably be possibly a UK buyer unless you're wanting it after Christmas. Um, but yeah, so everybody that's come across from probably those videos, you know, thank you and I'm glad you love the video. Well, I just can't make hundreds of the same project because it would just become very boring. And what else has been happening? Rachel, I use, um, when I first started, I used a vacuum chamber um, because you can put your resin in. I never used to put it in in moulds. Um, I used to put the resin in in cups and then pour it from a great height to make sure that I didn't get any bubbles in my casting and had lots of successful castings but not with any wood with voids in it was more um it was more like stuff like just simple worthless wood put in or um the pencils I did it with the pencils I did all the degassing for the pencil projects in a vacuum chamber but for the likes of pine cones and that, you really do need the pressure chamber just to get the resin into the voids. Sorry, I keep looking at the screen, trying to read the comments at the same time. With Tristic Crafts UK. Hi, Sam. Yeah. So, but you see if, see if I didn't want to make masses of... Um, pen blanks and have them done quickly I would have probably still been using a vacuum because it did everything that I wanted it to do and the only thing that it didn't do was Banksia pods um, Australia you'll know very well about Banksia pods um, it never got into all the voids on that but there's been other people that have used gel resins and all sorts to to do those for so there is other ways around that um, but yeah if you've got if you've got vacuum already or you you're already stabilizing there is no reason that you can't use that to, to degas the resin you may get an odd bubble but really i didn't have that much of an issue it just was the time it takes a lot of time to put it in and 
you know, by the time you get it moulded, I can't leave it to heat up so that the colours don't blend and stuff like that. So, you know, there's lots of downsizes, but if you're just making pen blanks for yourself at home and you've got a vacuum chamber, then you're, you're well ahead to go to go and make blanks. Yeah, yeah, the, the ring blanks, um, well, some, some of the ring blanks I, I make and I don't degas because um, it's on the secret wood stuff, it almost looks like snow or raindrops. And for some blanks, that just looks perfect. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to invest in something, I'd definitely say pressure. <laughs> Paul Barnes, uh, good to see you on here. Uh, I'm sure your pinecone video is still going crazy. Um, your channel has grown so quick. I do still watch you um, and you do some great projects. So uh, congratulations on that. Um, God knows how many thousands of subscribers you've got now, but I noticed it was building massively. And that was due to, to one video. So it just shows you one video can really change how the channel grows and the amount of people that you're getting out there to. I'm noticing that the camera keeps going into autofocus, I'm sorry. I'm not very technical with a camera on the phone. I'm not very technical with any camera actually. Two million of last week. You keep saying it's due to me, but it wasn't due to me at all. It, you had the right project at the right time. And the pinecone project that I had have on Facebook, I still get a massive amount of views. I don't get anywhere near to that that extreme. But that was off the back of your video, so so it definitely wasn't me. The pinecone video for me just went wild because it went off the back of yours. Yeah, people do love pinecone projects. And I have I don't know whether you use or do you know, when you're casting. I keep every plastic pot so I was actually, I'd had trifle the other night because I've got a terrible sweet tooth and I've actually kept the trifle container because I thought about doing a prime pinecone project with that. Um, I don't like doing the same thing all the time but um, I thought for a change I might do a bowl or something rather than a box. Right, I'm just trying to catch up see if there's anybody asked anything. Oh, great. JW Woodcraft, you got a pot yesterday. You'll be so excited to get your first casting in there. I know Ron Summerlin as well. Um, he's just got a new pot, so watching him. It's massive casting now. It is such a big area, but then it's so, you could do so much with it. You know, you could put it with wood. I'm sure there's a lot more stuff. I don't get a lot of time for experimenting as much as I did do. Not that I'm complaining, I'm certainly not. Um, but yeah, I think there's a lot more stuff. I get lots of ideas and I have massive of lists of projects that probably would last me a lifetime right now because my brain is just, it's always on overdrive. In the middle of the night, if I wake up, something will come to my head and I have to go and write it down. No, you didn't miss it again, Paul. I just was randomly just coming on because I just missed doing the lives um, but didn't sort of really have any structure to the to the live stuff so that's why I stopped it really. I'm thinking possibly in the new year because the break that I've had from doing the lives has given me chance to because I'm still doing this website now it's just about done but from January all the pen blanks and everything will be listed on there. I'm going to be moving everything from Etsy over to the website. I'll have to keep the Etsy account there with stuff in it because a lot of customers only, they don't watch my videos and they don't even know I'm on social media, I don't think. They just come in to buy because they found me on Etsy. But um, yeah, once I'm, I'm, I've got my books to do and I've got my website to finish and then I'll probably be live a little bit more anyway than I am currently. Yeah, I've I seen Steve, you were struggling with the the 
Is it unstabilised wood? I can't remember it now. I was actually going to message you about it. Um, have you got the stuff for stabilising yet? Yeah. Quite a delay on this. Um, yeah, some woods definitely do need. I now do all the oak. I stabilise all the oak now that I use in the pen blanks. Well, I tell you what, Steve, drop me a message because um, I could maybe do a couple of bits for you and get them across to you. Yeah, the thing I like Etsy because it's built up and, you know, I've got good customers, regular customers that are coming back on Etsy but the prices are shocking they really are absolutely shocking yeah no bother Steve um that's really what I get I mean, it's almost like greed with them because they just take such a massive chunk of your your order money and the the thing is I don't I don't want to increase that because I don't think I should need to increase it and that's why I've done the website because if I can move everything to the website then the pricing and everything works out correctly so but then you get you know you get a lot more people into Etsy a lot of people use it now um so just, I don't know 12 one and a half dozen of the other yeah you're right, Paul. It took me a long time to actually um, start selling anything. And I'm absolutely positive it's due to the fact that I'm on Instagram now and I post everything on Instagram. I post pictures of everything that I do. And, you know, that's certainly building. And I think a lot of people, especially in the knife making, because the knife scales, I love making knife scales. Um I really do enjoy that and there's a lot of people out there it's a big thing to snail making knives and um, so that's really helped draw people in and they're coming to Etsy because I'm directing them there um, and I think through YouTube as well I mean I've always used YouTube it's never been about numbers and money it's always been about showing people what I'm about and maybe directing them to everything else it's just free advertising and anybody that runs a small business you really should be on YouTube because the reach is massive you know so um, just just my opinion but my, my sales have increased because of all the other stuff that I've done I think Yeah, yeah, Steve. That's that's exactly what happened to me. I had to start selling the stuff that I was making because I just couldn't hold it all in the house. Because um, at the time as well, I was making bandsaw boxes, and they're like a foot square at a time. And you know, I would have thirty or forty of these boxes, and because um, that was all I was selling at the time. You know, so that is a massive amount of space that you need just to hold all of that. So you really have to sort of. You have to end up starting selling and there's the you know there's people out there that are looking for people to make things and i think people like homemade you know craft stuff more and more now than they ever did i mean the i'm sure the industry is really feeling it because it's just it's massive it's massive now everybody's got everything so the only thing they haven't got is you know what people are making out there because most of it's one-off stuff um you know you wouldn't go into a shop and find wood turned pine cone boxes in you know a dozen because um getting somebody to make a dozen of them wouldn't happen and you couldn't i'm sure you probably could have machines that would do that type of thing but uh yeah i'm sure there probably is something out there like that rambling So, are you all ready for Christmas? Is anybody else doing craft fairs out there? Craft fairs are a good way to 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 get noticed as well in in the local. Because you know, the other thing is, you know, I have Highland Boxes, the Facebook page, 
but I basically advertise only to people from in a hundred mile radius of me. Um, so it's very small compared to everything else because the reach is not as big. Um, but you know, those are the people that you want local if you're doing craft fairs because you can advertise, not that I do it enough, but you can advertise, um, you know, where you're doing craft fairs and people will come and meet you. So, and you know, then buy your products from there. So, you know, your Facebook page is quite an important one too. Yes, decorations, Paul. Oh my gosh, you do all you always do well through work. I'm exactly the same with pens. Um, I always I've, I've got custom orders now waiting, and it's all colleagues in work. Um, everybody uses one of my pens, it's brilliant. You know, work is a great place to, you know, and I and I actually try and keep work very separate from what I do at home, but obviously, people know that I work with because you know. You just have a general conversation so people know but i don't broadcast it you know around the hospital what i do um because it's just not professional to do that you know this, this is my home life and it's really important that i keep that like that but then i'll get a phone call from another ward saying can you do this and i find it embarrassing because uh yeah i try and keep things very separate but everybody knows so so people will just say to me, can you make me this? I need a ring box for that. Can you do that? Can you do this? You know, so work is another great place getting your stuff out there. Yeah, yeah, but it's like me with my pens um, because I do all my writing and obviously my job involves quite a lot of writing. So I'll get people coming into the ward and saying, oh, what a nice pen you've got. And then I'll say, oh, well, I've made it. And then that, it just goes from there. Make sure you haven't done any make affairs yet, but the goal of mine is next year. Yeah, you've got three young kids. Yeah, um, I'm lucky enough my daughter has her own house and does her own thing. And actually this used to be her bedroom. It's now a studio room where I do all the casting. But um, yeah, although I've done crafts my whole life, I've done calligraphy in the past and I used to do bits and pieces for that because I could do that around you know when Sabrina went to bed I could sit and do it late into the night but um, yeah it's not easy with kids to do any of it and yeah that I very much started much the same as you I just made myself little goals each year I still continue to make little goals um, and that sort of gets you through to the next stage and things start to build from there um, I worked out it's been it's been eight years since I really started to sort of gain confidence in what I was doing and felt that it was good enough for other people to to have um so yeah it, it's take, it takes a long time and you know I'm nowhere near where my goal in my head is for me you know um there's a lot more things I want to try and you know because it's not all about business and making money for me it's also about learning you know I definitely want to do some metal work and um, definitely want a metal lathe you know so it just keeps going on it's, it's honestly it's an addiction I need help yeah the resin art workshops yeah now I have an opportunity to do that for next year that is actually on the plan because I do I tend to do a small business plan every year and basically mine is pretty simple just basically says what my plans are for the next year and I hope to achieve and yeah that doing um, workshops is definitely something because I actually really enjoy being around people and you know get quite excited to show them how how easy it is to do you know what we do it almost looks more complicated sometimes when people see it, which is, you know, that's, that's it. But, you know, people who are interested in starting, yeah, I definitely want to get out there and show them how to make stuff. No, Steve, there's not enough hours in the day. There really isn't enough hours in the day. I could probably do with 48 hours in one day and I might actually achieve what I need to in one day. <laughs> 
hell. Can't, can't wish our life away. Hi Ronald. Good to see you. I didn't think there would be so many people about this morning. And I know I'm rambling on quite a bit. And people won't come back and watch this video. But I just thought I'd come on and just chat. So no, I didn't, I didn't think I'd get this many people. You're either watching from work or you're in the toilet somewhere. Or maybe it's break time, is it? Lunchtime. So, I don't know if I have much else to say. I've got quite a busy day today because I was doing some... Where's it now? I'll give you a bit of a peek. So, to do some prep for that because it's for the craft fair. Craft fair I'm doing is on Sunday and it's at a distillery. And it's my favourite one. And that's why I, I made sure that I was still doing that one. Sitting on top of a roof watching you. Is it a roof for you are, Steve? I've seen some pictures, I think, of a, of a roof that you were admiring. Builder. Oh, it's cold for that. 10.43pm here in Brisbane. Yeah, yeah, I guess I, I, if I contact my brother, I tend to try and work the sort of, the tw well, 12 hours, but it's actually more than that now, isn't it? So it's 12, 14, 13, 14 hours. 7.30. Gosh, I know. So I sort of caught everybody before work, after work and in the middle of it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I am probably will be live again before Christmas. Uh, yeah, it is, it's cold. I don't like the cold. Um, like I said, I was out in the shed earlier, but I had the heat on my feet. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to head off now. I'll probably do a live before Christmas, just see what everybody's up to. Expect some rings, resin art and the bandsaw box. They will all be out before Christmas for absolute definite. Um, so, yeah, take care, everybody. Thank you very much for, for clicking in and listening to me ramble. I really appreciate it. Yeah, the, that's, the lives are great for answering questions if people are in, but I, I need to figure out a better way of maybe doing um, some that I can sort of let people know that they're going to happen in advance so that they can come in, because I'm always happy to answer questions, because um, that's what it's all about. It's all about sharing the information. There's nothing hidden. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, and th happy Thanksgiving to you all. I'm always jealous of the celebrations that you have at Thanksgiving. Um, I think it's one of the nicest celebrations of the year. So happy Thanksgiving to you all, although we don't celebrate it in the UK. But to you, you've got the right idea. I think you should be celebrating it. And anyway, I'm off before I ramble on anymore. Thanks very much, everybody. Now take care and see you again soon.